Please, your Majesty. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. General Valuator, fellow Toastmasters, our guests, and most importantly, Alice. <clears throat> I am evaluating your speech, which I think was a good historical, uh, historical outlook on the past, on the past of Quebec, and basically giving us more or less an interfaith relationship history of Quebec based on your childhood and your personal experience. <coughs> and I think that was something that one needs to at least know about. I'm, I'm someone that is so interested in listening or watching documentaries and historical movies or things in that nature. So I enjoyed the speech personally. And I, I would go and look into your intro and say, you started with, with a question which caught our attention, and that got us to say, okay, what's she gonna talk about? And then you introduced by telling us what you were going to be talking about, your objectives of the speech. You were trying to give us a historical outlook, and your buddy went into the stories, and you told us three or four stories, and then you concluded with the, the, the conclusion of saying, well, this is what happens when people try to stop individuals from uh, getting what they want. At the end of the day, I guess the, the, the theme of that speech was love is strong. I guess the, the love of individuals cannot be stopped regardless of faith or even culture. I wanted to give you some feedback, Alice, and I think you already are a profound speaker. You, you, you tell us stories that make your speeches captivating. It makes us listen, makes us want to even uh, just we can think back and imagine, you know, because of the movies we watch, I guess, it's easy to imagine what was going on when you were actually experiencing those things. Now, because it's your story, I think those are the best speeches to give without notes. I, I like when I listen to a speech and it is told in a, in a way that is more or less almost scripted, but yet your personal story. So coming out here and feeling free and telling us something that is now a body that flows with the stories tied together. So you introduce the speech and now tie the stories together and conclude in an organized format. That way we see the trend and we get the message. And I think one thing that kind of uh, threw me off was the <coughs> title of the speech. And I think the title would have been something like Relationships in the Old Interfaith Province of Quebec. And I guess from there we understand exactly what you're trying to do. Because you talked about relationships in general. So in, in, in all, I think the, comment, uh, the recommendations I would give is to try and use no notes for your personal stories and then tie it all in in an organized format with a concrete uh, conclusion so that we can, we can grasp it and captivate us even more. But I guess you met your objective, and I look forward to listening to your speeches again. Thank you very much. <laughs>